Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabe. Hi. Hi. Say hi. Put them in more You know this is too much. They ain't trying to get nothing from me. They on Macon. They said Macon and something at another school. Baby Dave. Oh, no. Oh, no. Baby Dave. 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 Kind of go to uh, picture mode. Oh, picture mode. Weddings or anything yeah, like exactly. that. Really Maybe good. Maybe it was in a bit. Yep. A party or something like that. Oh, somebody blew one. That's a job for the telephone. <laughs> Hi.
Would everyone please stand? get through all this successfully has made me feel I have accomplished so much already. And that's why I'm proud to stand here before you today. I now can look back and see how much I have grown and even though it seems difficult and sometimes un unattainable, I am happy that I did not lose sight of what I wanted to do and did not stop working hard for it. Everyone has goals in life, and I hope that all these graduates here today have goals to become the future leaders and entrepreneurs of their respective communities. In the fall, I will be attending Tuskegee University, the historical black college in Alabama, doing pick-up of movie production as a minor. To the class, to the class of 2004, I plead with you to strive for excellence in everything you do and don't settle for anything less. I believe that we have a responsibility to accomplish certain tasks in this community. I, believe, I think that it is essential for us to have some more African-American places in the U.S. government, including the White House. The only way we can do this is if we go out there and vote. It is our right. So to my fellow graduates, I'll leave you with this. Do your best, and remember, our schools are the stepping stones for success. Thank you, congratulations. are going to favor us with a selection. A solo. Where's our solo? There's the Come on, baby.
might think that that was planned for the graduates to get up, start swaying, and singing along. It was not. It's simply representative of the support and the love that these young women and men have for themselves and for the other. A lot of killing me. Killing me. I'd like to bring to the podium our esteemed valedictorian. Come on up here, Bree. Yeah. Come on up here, Bree. 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 Come on I'm here just like all of you, giving a second chance. A second chance to show the world that we are not both close, that we are soft. A few days ago, at the, at the awards ceremony, I had no idea I would be given the honor to stand before you as our Victorian. My family, teachers, and close friends know I worked hard with the past. But in the beginning, I was not happy in my former high school. I didn't feel that I was part of school. I was so hard to start not to participate in my education. Then I woke up and asked myself, where am I going? What will my future be? My decision was to find a school, a place where I could complete my high school education. When I started here at Brooklyn Academy, I gave myself a deadline. If I could not complete my requirements in a year and a half, I was bound for the GED program. But after the first three weeks, I felt comfortable again. I knew the teachers cared. I was part of the school, not looked down upon the because I had to make a plan. I don't remember being asked why I was here, but I was accepted for who I was and what I did at the present, not the past. Don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that the phrase, the mind of a terrible thing to wait, is definitely true. I am proof that if you want to succeed, you can. Brooklyn Academy and other attorney prices should not be looked over. They should be recognized as good learning institutions. This is the end of one chapter in our lives, beginning of so much more. We will have good days and not so good days, but we can look back and know we have achieved a major goal. This proves that nothing can hold us back. Thank you.
We the graduates of Brooklyn Academy High School. We the graduates of Brooklyn Academy High School. Will continue to reach out and hold on. Imagine and achieve. For we now know that when we search within, we have a reason to believe. It's time to get involved and make things happen. To not look to take the rewards, but to also give. For somewhere in time, we too will be called upon to help inspire, create, encourage, and lead others to their own successful destiny. We promise to recall how Brooklyn Academy really reached out to us and helped us follow our ambitions. And in that spirit, we will strive to ensure that we will lift up at least one other individual as a Brooklyn Academy graduate I will continue to represent all the good that Brooklyn Academy stands for take it as my duty to work both alone and with many to improve my community never put limits on myself or others and freely willing to give others that extra opportunity Maynard would you like to say something to Ernie Um, I, before we get into some other little tidbits from the Fulton Art Fair history, uh, Marty Markowitz has to leave here shortly, and we would like him to present a citation to Ernest Critchlow before he leaves. May I introduce Borough President Marty Markowitz? Yep. Thank, you very much. Thank, you. Thank you very much. And as we say, salam alaikum and shalom. And let me. Uh, if I may, uh, Mr. Critchlow, uh, you are uh, a better known Brooklynite than I am, that's for sure. And not only did I want to do this proclamation in your honor, but I decided to present this to you two years early because the proclamation reads, Ernest Critchlow, 92nd birthday celebration day in Brooklyn, USA. So therefore, I expect in two years from now, that I'm going to represent another proclamation that will read 94. So let's keep two years ahead. Let me, let me uh, just say it. it says, whereas the members of the Fulton Art Consortium host the Fulton Art Fair Founders Day to recognize the efforts of their founders and to pay special tribute to Ernest, one of the organization's original founders on the occasion of his 90th birthday, in grateful recognition of, the, of his extraordinary efforts in establishing the first outdoor art exhibit of African-American art the Fulton Art Fair, which has been a tremendous distinction of being the oldest and most renowned exhibit of its kind in the state of New York, and I believe in America. And so I salute and commend Ernest Critchlow for his lifetime of extraordinary achievement, and in particular, his efforts in promoting the achievements of African American artists, uh, artists as he is on it today. And I have to tell you, you should know, and if you don't know, I'll share with you. Brooklyn has the largest black population in the United States of America by county. In other words, the only county that has a larger African American population in America is Cook County, which includes the entire city of Chicago. So therefore, we are second, but we're not, although I think Brooklyn's a city, and it is a city, but the truth is by county, that is not an official city, 
We have the largest African-American population, and it's only fitting, Mr. Critchlow, that you made this happen here in the heart of African-American United States, right in Brooklyn, USA. So congratulations, everyone. Have a good day, and thank you for allowing me to share this moment with you. And Joan Maynard is here. May I introduce Joan? Is that okay? Another visionary in our lifetime, Joan Maynard has devoted her life. Do I have to tell you? Today, the Weeksville Society has become and will become a national treasure as more and more tourists around America and around the world will visit Weeksville. She has in her life, I mean, there are very few people you can say, really, that someone has established something as brilliant as this Weeksville Society is at a museum. Uh, that will enrich future generations of New Yorkers and Americans, the rich history of African Americans in Brooklyn. And I got to tell you, while Joan's had a lot of help, it's been Joan because once you meet her, you can't say no. You have to say yes. Ladies and gentlemen, another great Brooklyn on. I really mean it. Joan Maynard. Thank you, Marty. Listen, I, I think we're just fortunate to have a guy like Marty. Uh, because there's no other person like Marty, but I, I, I'm really so privileged to be here and to be with Ernie Crystal, who was my first art teacher when I was 14 years old. Uh, and that goes back a long way, but I cannot tell you enough about this man. Uh, I used to live around the corner on Decatur Street, 278 Decatur Street, and my mother and father would come right here to this subway station at Utica Avenue when I would come back from my...